Buenos Aires, capital of Argentina. Home to the breathtaking total wipeout obstacle course, a brutal yet quite stupid battleground in which 20 brave Brits, including a policewoman, a naked waiter and a hairdresser, are about to test their bodies to the limit. Most will fail. Only one can win. This is Total Wipeout. Athletes have the Olympics, racing drivers Formula One, footballers the World Cup. But what about the rest of us, who are no good at anything? Welcome to Total Wipeout. 20 competitors start, 19 of them return to the UK with nothing but the shampoo they stole from their Argentinian hotel. But one, the Total Wipeout champion, will return home with £10,000 and the shampoo they stole from their Argentinian hotel. This is what they're up against today. The qualifier, where the qualifying happens. The sweeper, where the sweeping happens. The dizzy dummies, where the dizzy dummying happens. Then finally, the wipeout zone, where the... Oh, that, that's not going to work, is it? You know what happens. The winner of today's show will take home £10,000. But first things first, it's the qualifier. Of the 20, only 12 will make it through to the next round. Here's what's in store. To start with, new today. They look a bit like turtles, and you have to sort of hurtle across them. So go with me on this. They're called the Hurtle Turtles. After that, ever picked a fight with a wall? My advice is don't. It's the Sucker Punch. Then, two contestants actually got across these last week. It's the Big Balls. Finally, the qualifier ends with a rope, a gap, and a tiny platform. It's the return of the wall swing. Today's champion will need to know their strengths, their limits, and, most importantly, their bank details, so we can transfer them their prize money. Now, it's time to join the woman who's sort of like the competitor's agony aunt, but an agony aunt who can't stop laughing at all the agony. It is my co-host, Amanda Byron. Here now at the top of the qualifier with Stevie. Now, Stevie, I hear you're one of our cheekier contestants. Would that be right? Yeah, yeah, I do a bit of uh, naked waitering as a job uh, when I'm back in London. Uh, so, obviously something over my bits and pieces, but, you know, I do have my bottom out on display. Oh, well, I do hope you're going to be trying to keep your pants on for us today, are you? Yeah, well, let's hope this course doesn't catch me with my pants down, that's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> You can smash me, you can bash me, but Stevie Boy just keeps on coming! Yeah, as long as you do with your clothes still on, matey boy. Right, he's away. Good start, Stevie. He's got the style of a surfer. Come on, you little beauty. And the voice of Anton Deck. Let's see how naked waiter Stevie gets on with those hurtle turtles. Uh, oh. What's the... Get out! Well done, Stevie. Talking to the hurtle turtle seems to be helping. Sort of. 29-year-old Stevie used to be a Thai boxer, so the sucker punch should be no problem for him. Ah! Admittedly, he was never a black belt. Made it to maybe black headband. That's a real ah! neck snapper. That's a good turd. OK, it is balls o'clock now. Up until last week, nobody had conquered the big balls. Despite his suspect career choice, surely a real man like Stevie should be able to manage them. Come on, the balls! Yes. Go on, then. We're away! Oh, that's a no, then. As always, the glory of slow motion reveals naked Stevie was never going to make it. Well, he's managed to keep all his clothes on so far. Oh, no, wait, he's lost his headband. Let's hope that's not the start of it. You're not in a restaurant now, Steve. Wonder where he keeps his notepad. Naked Stevie needs to grab the rope and swing across to the narrow platform to complete the course. But it's not that easy. A few weeks back, we saw the wall swing for the first time. What we didn't see was a single person land it. So how will Naked Stevie fare? Is it even possible? Yes! Oh, no. Stevie becomes yet another statistic. Now he must swim round and climb the stairs, losing valuable time. So 
So Naked Stevie completes the course in 1 minute 53, and that is the time to beat. Oh, oh my word. What a beast. What an absolute beast that was. From a beast to a beauty. Next up, it's 33-year-old mum of two, Fleur. I am going to get this trophy and this is my moment. Yes, Fleur, let's hope your moment isn't stopped in its tracks by our obstacles. Well, she's off, she's in. And up onto the pontoons with ease. Who's a little bit excited? I can. Fleur is fuelled by a squeal power. If she stops screaming, she stops moving. And it's onto the hurtle turtles. No! Oh! She slipped off the first hurtle turtle and into the mud. That's right, Fleur. It is. It's a, it's a mud pool. The second batch of hurtle turtles to cross. Yes! Oh! Where's she going? No, Fleur, it's the other way. That's all oh, that's gonna cost her precious time straight away. On to the sucker punch for squealing Fleur. Oh. Ah. Oh. There was no need to apologize, Fleur. We kind of thought that might happen. Fleur approaches the big balls, and that squeal pair of hers seems to have disappeared. Oh dear. Despite that fall, she's not giving up yet. Remember, though, only the fastest 12 will get through to the next round. Just the wall swing to go. Then Fleur can give a well-earned rest to her legs and her voice box. Can she be the first one to land it? No! <laughs> Couldn't stay on the platform, but Fleur celebrates with an uncharacteristic scream and finishes in a time of 3 minutes 25. Now, our next two contestants share something in common. Can you guess? That's right, they're both crime fighters, but no capes. 27-year-old Ali is a police officer, while 37-year-old Claire is a barrister. They might keep our streets clean, but they can't keep themselves clean across that mud pool. When it comes to the physical stuff, who will be best? WPC Ali, the feet on the street, or QC Claire, the feet under the desk? Ali? Obstructing a police officer? Bad wall. I'll get you five years. Oh, and now bashing a barrister. I think we better move on, because where there's blame, there's a claim. I'll stop that now. Speaking of claims, though, here's another, and it's a bold one. I got skills, I got determination, I'm going to rack those scores. Bring it on! I heard skills, determination, and then just a sort of yelling. Anyway, this is 24-year-old Kunal. He's a student rep from Ulster. Nice start. Kunal practices mixed martial arts and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But sadly not Argentinian pontoon handling. Kunal hasn't strictly reached the first obstacle yet. But everyone tackles the total wipeout course in their own special way. Kunal, come on! Get some support from a man. He's up and out! On to the Hurtle Turtles now. Things can only get better after that shaky start. There we go! Oh, that's not the way to do it at all. Ah. Oh. The sheer skill, power and determination to mess this up. Amanda! There to support. On to the sucker punch, which should suit Kunal's martial arts background. Oh. He does Brazilian jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Could Kunal be the first person to cross the big balls today? I'm not entirely sure. He does look a bit worried. There's your answer. It would seem not. And the big man appears to be going nowhere in a hurry. Unfortunately for Kunal, the big balls were his big finish. No amount of skill, power or determination could help him complete the course. And unfortunately, he had to retire. But can our next competitor fare any better? I'm with Ben now, who's a hairdresser from East London. All right, Ben. How you doing? What? <laughs> I'm doing really well. Listen, how would you describe yourself to me? Uh, tall, dark and handsome, and I'm mustard. What on earth does that mean? That just means I'm top of my game, I'm just having it. Uh, yeah. You're mustard. So, uh, would you be honey Dijon, English, spicy? Uh, full English, don't worry about that. Full English mustard. Sharp and saucy. 
Oh, Marston, them big red balls of custard. Let's have it. Best, best bush. If you don't speak Cockney, Ben is not at all worried about facing the big red balls today. Who did? He's away. Onto the pontoons. Oh, dear. That's the first time I've seen someone struggling with that particular corner. Technically, it's not an obstacle. Not off to a good start, Benny boy. And he's up again. Careful, Ben. There's another one of those tricky corners coming up. Wow! <laughs> On the way to the first obstacle, the Hurtle Turtles. And mustard lover Ben makes light work of the first set and the second. On to the sucker punch now. More familiar territory, perhaps. Oh! Oh, you see? Oh. Time now to answer that age-old question. Do Cockney's bats? Yes, yes. <laughs> see that again. You see, that's what I call a right Cockney knees up. You, you, yeah. He probably won't call it that. Just the wall swing left now for East End Ben. Here we go. Yes, yes. Yes, he's landed the wall swing, and his time of 1 minute 30 is also the fastest so far today. How did he do it? I just bished it, I pushed it, and I passed it. Well up. That was a fantastic run from East End Ben, and he was even more impressive for having landed the wall swing at the end there. Finally, someone's done it. Let's see how our first leaderboard is taking shape. East End Ben is in first place, with Naked Stevie in second and WPC Alley in third. Squealing Fleur is in fourth, QC Claire in fifth, and poor old Kunal is down in last place, having not finished the qualifier. The total wipeout course is a little different every week because we like to keep our contestants on their toes. But there is one obstacle they can count on week after week. Come rain or shine, these four big beauties are ready and waiting to reduce even the most hardened athlete to a bruised, wet, disoriented mess. They are, of course, the big balls. So, next to try his luck on the balls is video editor Oli Voskander Latabadi. I shall call him just Oli. I'm going to pull something special out of the bag and surprise you all. Oh, dear. Just Ollie takes an early bath. From an unpronounceable name to unpredictable hair, here comes bodybuilding champion Heather. This is for all the ladies who come to my aerobics classes. I push you to your limits. Now watch me reach mine. I think we're going to see where Heather's limit is. Any minute now. Right there, ball number two. That's 38-year-old IT manager David, who loves free running. This should be a walk in the park. Bring it on! Oh, free falling too, by the looks of it. We've seen that move before, the old up, over and out. Next to try his luck on the big balls is ex-soldier Barry. Them big red balls ain't fitting me! Let's bring it on! After eight years in the army, he's seen a lot of assault courses. Just none quite like this one. And here comes Essex girl Jess. We just never quit! Quitters never win! I'm not gonna quit! Let's hope I win! Woo! She's a basketball player, so will her years of playing around with bouncy balls help out here? No. No, it won't. Now, strap yourself in, because here comes 20-year-old art student, Alex. This course looks as easy as paint by numbers. Watch me go, it's going to be a masterpiece. He's off. He's in. Ow, that was quite a landing. That's... go. Oh! Right, he's standing up now for art students everywhere. I went to art college, and some people do say that art students are a bit, you know, dim. Anyway, he's on the Hurtle Turtles. Oh, Alex is painting my numbers all right. Ow! Back on his feet, up to the big balls. This then oh. your moment, Alex. Yes! Oh, he's on to the third! Ow! Alex there, giving us a preview of his latest work. It's after the Dutch Masters, an allegorical piece. I shall call it... Ow, that really hurt my back! Just the wall swing to go. He's away, he's on the ledge. Yeah. Oh, no, he's in. That means a swim. 
Nevertheless, a pretty decent time of two minutes, six seconds for RT Alex, proving that even if you do make a complete hash of all your GCSEs, it doesn't mean you can't be good at something. Thank you, Alex. Meet 50-year-old Joe, who's an anaesthetic nurse. That's very muddy. Uh, yes, yeah, she may well need a taste of her own medicine after this ordeal. Little does Joe realise that the Argentinians have installed nurse magnets at the bottom of those mud pools. No wonder she's finding it hard going. Let's leave her there. <laughs> Next up is 44-year-old engineer, Alan. Yeah, you're now going to enter Alan's world. Watch it, this is how you compete. OK, what has Alan got in mind for Alan's world? Let's see. You see, what we have to bear in mind is that in Alan's world right now, he's cresting the top of a monumental cliff overlooking the sea. Alan, what are your strengths that you're going to bring to Total Wipeout today? Yeah, I do a lot of gym work, so I've been really strong and I seem to have a really good balance, so hopefully I can use that on some of the course to be really good. All useful stuff. Good to see all that gym work has paid off. He's up and away. Back to our guided tour of Alan's world. we go. Oh, not quite what he imagined, probably, in Alan's world. Go on, Alan, just keep thinking happy thoughts. He's at a party right now in his world. That's a pool. He's not alone in it. On to the sucker punch now. In Alan's world, of course, rather different. Not a wall of boxing gloves. Each one is a hand proffering a pint. Or maybe a pasty. Which makes it a more pleasurable experience. Thank you. Oh, don't mind if I do. No, can I pay? No, not in your world, Alan. They're all free. He's doing well. Oh, clipped by a pasty taken out by a chocolate bar. Bad luck. On to the balls. In Alan's world, again. I'm sure. Much, much better. Alan, snap out of it. This is the real world, mate. These are the big balls. Alan reckons that his strengths are stamina and balance. Both useful here. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he should think again. Our last leg of Alan's world is the wall swing. I can barely imagine what's going through his mind. That's, that's, but, of course, just a dream. So Alan's world, a happy place where the qualifier is always completed in record time. Unfortunately, this is the real world, Alan. And at four minutes, not one of the fastest times today. But hey, thanks for letting us into your wonderful world of make believe. We like it there! Back to reality, and up at the start is 44 year old designer Joe. Listen, Joe, I'm a little bit concerned about you because you're only a wee little unit. How are you going to cope on those big red balls? Well, I used to be six foot four tall, but I've done that much running, my legs have shrunk. But I'm going to show everybody who's the daddy, who's the daddy, I'm the daddy. This is for you short, ugly blokes out there that think you can't do it. Watch me. If I can, you can. That's made me feel a lot better, thank you. Joe is off and in and out onto the pontoon. Bounding across them with ease and up to the hurtle turtles. Oh, and that is how it's done. He's small, he's fast. Oh! But can he pack a punch? Oh, dear. Looks like a little Oompa Loompa. And, uh... Here come the big balls. was spectacular. <laughs> That's a brand new move. I shall christen it the Flying Frog. For a small man, that is impressive air on the big balls. <laughs> well done, Dynamo Joe, who's by far and away our most bouncy competitor ever. And he lands it! He sticks it! That is a lightning quick time of 1 minute 32 seconds. Dynamo Joe, proving that age really doesn't matter when taking on this total wipeout course. It's how much you look like a chuckle brother that really counts. Let's see what that last run has done to our leaderboard. East End Ben is still in first place with Dynamo Joe behind him. Just Ollie is in third. Naked Stevie has been pushed down into fourth with Strong Heather in sixth. Jess is in seventh and David is eighth. WPC Ali is in tenth and Alan is in twelfth. Though in his world, that's first. 
OK, let me take a moment of your time to talk about the Hurtle Turtles. Now, it's not enough that our 20 intrepid contestants have to deal with the big balls, because today they've all got the added pleasure of messing about with the Hurtle Turtles. And it's safe to say that very few of them are adept Hurtle Turtle handlers. Safe, but quite difficult to say. This is 18-year-old pint-sized travel consultant Fiona. And this is 24-year-old Sarah, who wants to be a prison officer. Oh, dear. Here we go. Oh, no. Not much better. So, leaving Fiona struggling to get back on the course... Meet 27-year-old model Aisha, who's made it to the wall swing in pretty good time. All she needs to do is land this, and she stands a chance of making it into the fastest 12. Here we go. Come on, Aisha. Clock's still ticking. Oh, what's happened? Oh, that's not good. She's completely forgotten to undo the rope. Come on, now she has. Now she has. OK, make that landing. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, that fall might just have cost her a place in the top 12. Our final two competitors are the poshest people we've ever had on Total Wipeout. Except, of course, Her Majesty the Queen, who was on show too. Remember, she got beaten by Extreme Steve. She was really good. The jury's out on the other contestants. It's a unanimous verdict. You're lucky the winner. I'm going to treat the course and the competitors with the utmost respect, but they better be careful because it's the quiet ones they've got to watch out for. Let's get ready, please! OK, so Tom is a law graduate from London, probably not the same bit of London as East End Ben. Right, he's up and away. Oh, that's going to be some cleaning for his butler when he gets back. This is Lucy, what a posh name. She's from Hamble in Hampshire, quite a posh place. And she's the manager of the Royal Southern Yacht Club. Now, that is posh. Lord Tom, onto the sucker punch now, and... Well, you can't blame the wall. It has no understanding of class distinction. It doesn't care, posh or not. Onto the big balls. Oh, come on, show some respect. This guy's probably aristocracy. Just the wall swing to go for Lord Tom. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, dear phone for the car, Tom. Nevertheless, that is a quick run. Two minutes and three seconds. Lady Lucy swings for it. A delicate landing. She makes it at a time of three minutes, 15. <laughs> so this is how the final 12 line up. East End Ben tops the leaderboard with Dynamo Joe in second and Just Ollie in third. Naked Stevie is in fourth, Lord Tom in fifth and Artie Alex in sixth. Strong Heather is our number one lady in seventh. WPC Alley is in 11th, and Lady Lucy is down there with the Commoners in 12th and last place. So, those 12 qualifiers are now one step closer to clinching that £10,000 prize. Or actually, for most of them, one step closer to getting hurt even more and then eliminated. But I like to see the glasses half full. It's time for the sweeper. <laughs> So here we are again, that part of the show where we take 12 hardy souls, stand them over a large pool of water, take the largest human mixer in the world and whisk briskly, and you end up with the mouth-watering treat that looks a bit like this. And tastes a bit like this. Let's remind ourselves of the sweeper's dozen. On podium one, it's strong heather. I'm ready, sweeper! Bring it! On two, three and four, it's Soldier Barry, Artie Alex and Basketball Jess. The girls are in it to win it. The boys are going down. On five, it's Lady Lucy. It's time to go big or go home. On six and seven, it's Freefall David and Dynamo Joe. 
Ben, you cut me wide, boy. You're going down. On eight, it's just Ollie. I'm a pocket rocket, and I'm here till the end. On nine and ten, it's WPC Ali and East End Ben. I'm well on. Joe's very bad. Let's have it. Ah, the beauty and delicacy of the Cockney vernacular. On 11, it's Naked Stevie. My bottom is my livelihood. I am not landing on my tushy. No way, no way. He's making me nervous. And finally, on podium 12, it's Lord Tom. These guys are on death row and their time's out. It's time for the sweeper! So, over to the woman who will cushion our contestants' falls with some gentle laughter and mockery, Amanda. Are you all ready up there? How about that? Okay, three, two, one. So the sweeper begins its brutal work. All of our competitors leaping well so far. Good balance, good jumping. Oh, someone fell in there. Who was that? It's red hot favourite East End Ben. Fastest in the qualifier is first out of the sweep. Never mind. You win some, you lose some. David! And that's Barry down yeah. too. The sweeper flipped him up and off his podium. It is brutal. There you go. I've lost. So good luck to the rest of the guys. <laughs> Another one's gone. David's out. Great jump, but a rubbish landing. Disappointed. Remember, that sweeper's getting higher and faster. Jess is gone. That is first-class cartoon falling. Flailing arms, look at that. And then look behind her, Dynamo Joe fell in too. I was just finding my sea legs as well, and it, it just, I lost it. And there's Joe, just tiptoes from landing safely. Blew it. Split second, and you're off, aren't you? So we've lost five, but one more needs to fall before we have our six. Who will then go through to the next round? Still standing a strong Heather, Artie Alex, Lady Lucy, Just Ollie, WPC Ali, Naked Stevie and Lord Tom. Oh, that thing is getting seriously fast now. But they're all still hanging on. Oh, God. It's getting very tense out there. Who will go next and be eliminated and kiss goodbye to any chance of winning that ten grand? Hanging on. Round and round it goes, faster and faster, higher and higher. Who is going next? This lot are doing very well. Oh, that's Alex! Alex is down! Artie Alex misses out by just one place. And that, that is the mother of all face plants. Oh, at least it wasn't his artist's hands, just his face. I'm feeling pretty gutted because I came seventh. It's just waiting for that one more person to go, and it, it didn't happen. <coughs> you know, just didn't jump high enough. <coughs> so we have our six. Now it's just for pride. Who will be the last competitor standing? No, oh, Lady Lucy's gone. WPC Alley's fallen too, and Lord Tom's gone as well. Good Lord. Slow down, guys, I can't keep up. Just Ollie's gone. There's just two contestants left. Will Naked Stevie or Strong Heather be today's last woman or man standing? There's Heather and there's Stevie. Oh, Heather's down. She was never going to make it over that. She really wasn't. And that horrible fall leaves Naked Stevie as our last man standing. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it! Get in! So, after a dramatic sweep around, the field has been whittled down to just six. Let's remind ourselves who they are and how they got here. First up, our crime-fighting hero, WPC Alley. Bring on the ball! In this life, there are haves and have yachts. It's sailing club manager, Lady Lucy. It's time to go big or go home. And then he does actually have a lovely speaking voice. Let's get ready to play! It's Lord Tom. Whoa. Next, his surname always wins at Scrabble. It's Oli Voskander Latabadi. I'm going to pull something special out of the bag and surprise you all. 
Next up, bodybuilding champion Strong Heather. Hang on! Ow! Yeah, that had to hurt. And finally, naked waiter Stevie as Sweeper King. What an absolute beast that was. That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! So there they are, our lucky six who are one step closer to that £10,000 prize. Now, in Britain, when a fairground ride is decommissioned for being too dangerous, it gets sold to a scrapyard. Here, they just give it a lick of paint and sell it to a British TV show. And here's the proof. It's Dizzy Dummies. So the competitors are spun round and round and round and then set off to stumble across obstacles that are not just wibbly, they are, in fact, also wobbly. We run the game three times, and each time the last person across will be eliminated. Put simply, don't come last. By the end, we'll have our three finalists. Today's obstacles are the good old dock maze, then it's on to the tippy tables. So good, they named it badly. All clear? Right, let's get spinning. And off they go. That high-pitched whine you can hear isn't the contestants. It's the Rolls-Royce aeroplane engine that powers the dizzy dummy. Round and round they go for 40 seconds. Hi, puppy. Hi. Yeah, they do tend to squeal at this point. Sometimes they cry. <laughs> Naked Steve is first off, whilst the others grapple with their seat belts. Steve is first on the pontoon. But he's in the water, so it's back to the start for him. Lord Tom is now in the lead, and Heather's behind. Oh, no, she's not. She's in. There's Lady Lucy just behind Tom. Probably both have private wipeout courses to practice on back at their mansions. No, so the tennis court. No one's made it yet. Who'll be home first? Oh, Tom takes a dive, but he's in the water. Oh, Tom! That's real pity she's feeling. Can Lady Lucy succeed where Tom failed? No. What about just Ollie? No! No. Ali kind of makes herself comfortable. She's on that last pontoon, and she is over. Got her! WPC Ali is safe and is immediately followed by Naked Stevie. Mariaka! He seems pleased. Now to do that to police officers? Strong Heather's done it too. <laughs> Only three are left. Lord Tom, Lady Lucy and just Ollie. The last one over now will be eliminated. It's looking good for Lord Tom. And he's safe. <laughs> but Lucy and Ollie are both down. Lucy, hang on! Oh! So she's lost her lead. She's got to swim back to the start as quickly as she can. Ollie now ahead. He's got in! On, he's fallen again! Come on, guys! Lady of sophistication. Not looking so sophisticated now. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Lady Lucy suddenly found herself in the lead. Can she hold on to it? Ollie is very close behind. Ooh. She must keep pushing on. This is going to be close. Come on, guys, push it! Lady Lucy now so close to the finish. Ooh. And she makes it, so just Ollie is out of the game. That was crazy. Once you come off there, you don't know where it's up, down, left, right. Well, you had a few goes at it and you were almost there each time. It was by that, wasn't it? So now we're left with five competitors. Lord Tom, WPC Ali, Naked Stevie, Strong Heather and Lady Lucy. They go back into the dizzy dummy and again, last one across, will be eliminated. Any one of them could win £10,000. And remember, sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. Sometimes you just have to be cruel. Fire up the Dizzy Dummy. Well, the Dizzy Dummy is off once again. Let's hope this lot have got strong stomachs. And everyone else is standing well back. What is that noise? And they're out of the cage. They're all off. 
Heathers at the first table. But Tom jumps on and that slips Heather into the water. That is not terribly gallant, Lord Tom. Tom takes the lead with naked Stevie in hot pursuit. He slipped in. Tom now hanging on for dear life. Makes it onto the second table. If you could just get that table level. Ooh, he's off. Back to the start for Lord Tom. Keeping the gentry ahead of the commoners is Lady Lucy. Oh, but she's... She's got in two. Now Heather's out in front. Not one person has made it across yet. Could it be strong, Heather? Balancing speed with precision. Oh, careful, Heather. Yes, it could. Strong Heather is our first across. Only three more can go through. Looking good for Stevie out in front. Tom's just fallen in and taken the block with him. Stealthy, Steve. I'm not giving it back. Stealthy? Not the word I'd use for that performance. I do not believe it. He takes a leap, catches his... There's no other word for it. Groin on the corner, and he's back in the water. Textbook. Lady Lucy's back on the table, but there's no block to hold on to. Lord Tom took it with him last time he fell off. Naked Stevie, back onto the first table, decides to go for it. Will he make it again or smash his nether regions a second time? I oh, steady on, Stevie. Yes, Stevie's made it. Paid the price, but he made it. Tom's following his lead. Sprinting for it, and he's also safe. Finishes impressively. That's our dive of the day. Lord Tom shows Stevie how it should be done. Yeah. So, only two remain. One more! Oh. WPC Ali and Lady Lucy. The last one across is out. Ali's fallen. That could cost her her place. Lucy's up on that second table. And, yep, she's done it. Lady Lucy is through. WPC Ali is out. You did really well the qualifier, really well in the sweeper, and you just you lost it there at the end. So I'm really sorry. You must be really disappointed, are you? I'm disappointed, but it was brilliant. So, ah, well, it happens. It's game over for WPC Alley, but there's still some spinning to be done. Two boys and two girls are strapping themselves in for one last go. Remember, only three can go through to the final, so who will be eliminated? Naked Stevie, Lady Lucy, Lord Tom or Strong Heather? I think we'll let Dizzy Dummy decide. So, our last four contestants are sent into a spin for one final time. Remember, the last one across will be eliminated and can forget any hope of winning that ten grand. Oh, buddy. And they're off. Stevie's first to the dot maze, his stomach probably quite some way behind him. Stevie slides in, leaving the way clear for Heather. Can she make the most of the opportunity? No, she can't. How about Lord Tom? Yep, a good leap. He's still dry. Lady Lucy's not far behind. Well done, Lucy! So it's Tom, Lucy and Stevie out in front. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to be so close. I can't bear it. And Tom is through to the wipeout zone. Could we have a lady in the final? Yes, Lucy's through. And Stevie's just about made it. He's made it. That was all over in the blink of an eye. A close contest for all involved. But Strong Heather is the last to finish and is eliminated. You were standing behind Stevie and you just didn't know whether to just take him out or not. Why didn't you? I didn't want to take him out, you know. <laughs> Can't be nice on Total Wipeout. He was in front of me. He was, I didn't want to wipe him out. He's a good guy, so... So, strong Heather's politeness puts her out of the competition. Naked Stevie, Lady Lucy and Lord Tom go through to the wipeout zone. And one of them will be walking away with the £10,000 prize. But while those three limber up in preparation for the final, let's take a look at how they got here. 
I'm feeling really scared about the wipeout zone. I don't even know what to expect, so, um, but bring it on either way. I can't wait to face the wipeout zone. I'm desperate to win. I'm desperate to beat both the other people. I was last on the qualifier, I was last on the sweeper, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're last, it's just as long as you get through. I always knew that Stevie was a strong contender. I wanted him to go out in one of the other rounds because he's really proven to be a tough competitor. I'm scarily competitive. Everything that I do, if it involves competition, I always want to be number one. This is very fit and she's also got amazing heart. Um, she never gives up. She keeps going till the end every time. For her to just battle through and go at it, just hat off to her. I'm going to say Tom is the one to beat. He's self-assured and I think he's going to rip up that total wipeout. Tom is the one to beat, definitely. Get it! I think Stevie's my biggest competition because he came closest to me in the qualifying. But I, yeah, I think I've got a good chance. It means the world to me just to be here at this final stage, but I can't wait to get to the end and hopefully be triumphant. It's going to be about going out and trying to beat everyone else out there who's doing it. I'm desperate to win and I put my 100% into it. There's never a time in my life where I've ever given 50%. I'll give everything I've got until the gas runs out. Night has fallen over Buenos Aires, and our three finalists have slipped, slid, stumbled and tumbled their way across three brutal rounds. But that was the easy bit, because after this, they've got to find their way to the airport. Oh, almost forgot. Before that, it's the super scary wipeout zone. So, our three finalists have to survive. The treacherous killer serve. Onto the body pummeling barrel run. Followed by the brain chilling climbing wall. Then a leap onto the spinner. Easier said than done. After that, a dainty run across the rolling beam, or not. And finally, the launch pads, preferably launching them in the direction of the finish podium. The fastest to finish will be tonight's winner. Let's join Amanda in the wipeout zone. And the first contestant to brave it tonight is Stevie. <laughs> Naked Stevie's off. He's dressed, but he's off. Right, it's a short swim to the barrel run, Stevie wasting no time. Covered in grease, it's slippery. Barrel trips him. He's struggling to regain balance and composure. Come on, Stevie. An excellent recovery. Making swift progress now. Onto the wall. Looking very composed. It's slow and steady for Stevie. Looking like a professional climber on that wall. Totally at ease despite the torrent of cold water crashing down on his head. He is a nude waiter, so Steve is no stranger to being a bit chilly. Come on, Stevie! He's cleared the wall onto the spinner now, one of the hardest obstacles in the whole of Total Wipeout. He's on it, now he's got to get off. That is the hard bit. Timing his jump. A fall here means he's back to the beginning of the whole spinner. He's made it! No! No, he's made his first mistake. I really thought he was going to stay on, but he overshot. He's in the water. Doubtless exhausted. He's got to climb the ladder, get across the wall, go for another go. Again, no problems getting onto the spinner. He's got to get off. He's... He's done it! He's done it. Well done, Stevie. The rolling beam now. Dead D. No problems there. Onto the launch pads. Yes, yes, no! No! Stevie tried to take the launch pads just a little too fast, and that really could cost him. The clock is ticking. It's a long climb back to the start of the launch pads. Oh, my word! Well done, Stevie. An incredible burst of speed at the end. Get in! You can't beat me! You can't beat me! An incredible time. Three minutes, six seconds.
Stevie took the wipeout zone in his stride. One little stumble on the barrel roll, a bigger one on the spinner, slowed him down. But he's done all he can. Beast! Absolute beast! You fell off. What went wrong? I don't know. I just mistimed it. I mistimed it. I hit the landing thing. I was just like, ah! Never. OK, so, Stevie, let's just see if three minutes and six seconds was fast enough, because the next contestant is Lucy. It's now or never. Lady Lucy, of course, accustomed to slopes, but for skiing, she's off. Into the water. As a keen sailor, Lucy, of course, no stranger to water. Although she is, I'm guessing, probably a stranger to jumping over rolling barrels. Let's see how she gets on up the slippery slope and onto the barrel run. Barrels already on their way towards her. She jumps one. Oh, oh right on the helmet. Ah. But those barrels just keep on coming. Remember, that walkway is coated in grease. Oh, this is not a good start for Lucy. Picking up speed now. Barrel's giving her a really hard time. She's made it without any more knots to the head. And now Lucy edges her way under the torrent of water, crashing down on her head at a rate of 2,000 litres a minute. Freezing cold water, a life jacket, tired, uncomfortable. This has got to be familiar taking it steady, but it seems to be working. More to the point, she's staying on. Right, she's cleared the wall. And now it's the spinner. Steve took two attempts to get across this. Can Lucy beat that? That £10,000 is still within her sights. She could buy a new hat. Taking her time, picking a spot. <laughs> she's made it. Now she's got to wait for the right moment to get off again. This, this is possibly the trickiest point of the whole of the wipeout zone. She's got to make that leap. And she has made... No! No, she's overshot the platform just like Stevie before her. She left her jump late, couldn't make that landing. That means Stevie's time is quicker already. She's in trouble. Lucy looking tired, but it doesn't matter now. It's just about pride and finishing the course. She's on to the spinner again, just sheer determination to finish driving her on now. Can she get off? This obstacle claiming more contestants possibly than any other. Timing that jump. Yes, she's done it. The rolling beam and launch pads to go now. Just the launch pads. There's one and now... Oh, no, no, she slipped off. She just couldn't stay on the first launch pad. She knows she's got to finish, and that's all. Come on, Lucy, let's get you home and dry. Safely onto the first launch pad. And the second, just one jump to go now. She's done it. Lucy's finished. In, I suspect, both senses of the word. Well, Lucy didn't crack the wipeout zone. The wipeout zone cracked her. Right on the head. She did her best and made it in 7 minutes 52, but it wasn't quick enough to beat Stevie's time. Oh, I just want to wrap you up and take you home and make you soup. You just look so exhausted up there. It is exhausting. I have to tell you that Stevie was, in fact, faster than you tonight. So, unfortunately, you don't go through. You're going to have to go over and join the other guys. Thank All right, Lucy. Give me a hug. <laughs> so, unfortunately for Lady Lucy, her time was considerably slower than naked Stevie's. That means it's now a two-horse race between Stevie and Lord Tom, who's ready and waiting at the start line. Let's get ready to rumble! 
So he goes, Lord Tom, and remember, he has no idea what Stevie's time was. Oh, my word. Clearly very keen to get going. Up onto the beam. Oops. Perhaps a bit too keen. That beam is greased. You have to keep your balance. It's precarious. The barrel's already making their way down the barrel run. Tom throwing himself at the barrels. Taking a bit of a rest on that one. But his variety of techniques have got him to the end of the barrel run. Now he's onto the wall. Tom taking it nice and easy, edging his way across. Remember, he's got to beat Stevie's time. Looking confident. He's cleared the wall, now it's the spinner. And he's straight on. No messing about, that was a fine jump. And he jumps off, and oh no, he's missed! He's gone straight in. Oh, thank God for that. Right where Stevie and Lucy fell. So Lord Tom has to climb the ladder and have another go. Possibly the hardest obstacle to get back onto. He's straight on again. And here we go for his exit. Yes, well done, Tom. Really close to Stevie's time now. Onto the rolling beam. No problem. But now he's down! That's the last thing he needs. His over-enthusiasm has cost him again. He has no idea, remember, how fast Stevie was. But he does know that's going to cost him. Come on, Tom, it's very close. He could still win this. Oh! Onto the second pad, pulls himself up. He's got to get across, and he does in a time of 3 minutes 13. He doesn't know how close he was to winning. Tom was lightning quick, but only in between those slip-ups. And it's over to Amanda to break the news to the boys. Really, really tired. I know it's really, really close. So, let the best man win. Yeah, Tom, I can tell you, you're right. It is really, really close. We've been biting our nails over here. There are seven seconds between you two. Seven seconds. And I can tell you now that um, Stevie... You are the Total Wine Bear Champion! <laughs> so Stevie Pert, the nude waiter and former Thai boxer, can now add Total Wipeout Champion to his CV. So if you're opening a nude Thai boxing-themed obstacle course, we've just found your employee of the month. That is it for today's Total Wipeout. Join us next time for more of this. And this. So from Amanda and me, it's goodbye. See you next time.